Suns and the Chicago Bulls. Buckle yourselves in, everybody. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. So Phoenix will get the first possession. All right, let's set the floor. Courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Setting the floor for the Suns. Johnson is out there with Marlin. Then there's West. Then it's Barkley. And it's Zabalos in at the three. Now here's Johnson. Here's West. Goes back up. Got a piece of it. Here's Barkley. Cartwright using his tremendous length to grab the ball. Outside Pippen. Banked in off the glass. Pippen's got the first points up on the board here for the Bulls. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. A lot of laziness going on out there. Still early in the game, but that needs to get worked out. No good from Sabalos. Ah, nice move inside. Has the defender beat. Oh, okay, okay. That is not possible. What we just, is that possible? I think it is, Greg. Not probable, but like possible, like you said. Special thanks to Under Armour for that sweet replay we just saw. Another Unleash Chaos moment. Go, 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 go. And so here's Phoenix. Barkley dishes to Johnson. Down to five on the shot clock. Pulls up. Fresh 24 for the Suns. And it's Barkley missing. And the Bulls with possession. Jordan the pass to Cook. Here's Pippen. Grant outside. The shot no good. So Phoenix will take it the other way. Barkley outside. West kicks to Marley. Picked by West. Marley with it. He's picked up by Jordan. Marley against Jordan. He got an advantage there off the pick and took it right in. You know, Smitty, you had a long career. What was it, 14, 15 seasons you played for the Spurs who led the way on resting players and certainly extending their careers? Yeah, it is, Kevin, but it's hard for me because I look at it as from a fan standpoint. When I played and now, you know, you have that kid and his dad come into the game, and he doesn't get a chance to see that star player. And a lot of times there's two or three guys that sit out. I understand the rest is needed because it's a long term. But I wish guys could find a way and coaches to have an organization maybe have rest days as far as practice but let the guys play because kids want to see their stars play. Right, but in the middle of your career, are you thinking, hey, I want to play long term so this rest is good? Or are you saying, forget the rest, I want to play? I just want to play. I mean, I think one thing is I never thought about long term. I just wanted to play the game that was in front of me, the practice that was in front of me, the preseason game that was in front of me. You just wanted to play. For Chicago, they've gone 2-5 of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. Yeah, heard the whistle and then kept his focus and able to still knock it down. Chicago shooting their first free throw tonight. And the Suns with a completely new group on the floor.
There's 57 seconds left to play here in the first. Dishes to Ng. There's the pick. Here's the floater. And no good. Some solid defense from Grant. Here's Jordan. He's now one for two with that bucket. And he runs the floor with a purpose that time. Excellent play. You know what? And a late reaction by the transition D. Takes it himself uncontested. Now, here is Knight. Ainge kicks to Miller. Good ball movement here by the Suns. Pass to Knight. The dish to Ainge. From past the arc. Another miss by Ainge. Yeah, not a great shot there, especially when you got a lockdown defender guarding you. You know, there's no shame in passing out in that situation. Leave your ego at the door. And so it's the Chicago Bulls with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. Back right after this. First quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And guys, what's your take on the Bulls so far? A huge fan of how they have rotated here defensively. Been able to challenge. The Bulls leading by six. Grant is out there with Purdue. Then it's Pippen. And it's Michael Jordan. And it's Armstrong in at the point guard position. That's the Bulls five as we get into the second quarter. How many times have you seen him do that? Lose and focus on a simple lay-in. Teardrop shot. He lays it in. Ainge has got the first basket of the second quarter for the Suns. The beauty of the teardrop. Very difficult to really contest. Pippen kicks to Armstrong. Jordan against Ainge. Jordan can't get it to go. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on it. The shot by Ainge, no good. Outside Jordan. Right side Pippen. He dishes it to Armstrong. That ball. Nice feed that time from Scotty Pippen. Armstrong's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. They're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Outside Dumas. Knight in the corner. Just five on the clock. There's a good screen. Off the pick. And good. Just a friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. And defensively, you've got to make a greater effort working over the screens. Yeah, he could have made a better choice. He left him an easy one. Let's see how he plays the next screen. Stolen by Ainge. And now it's Knight running. He can go all the way. That one falls. Knight's got his second bucket of the night. It was clear that the defender wanted no part of that play after he exploded towards the bucket. Armstrong kicks to Pippen. Screen by Grant. Feeds it to Armstrong. Jordan against Ainge. Off the pick. And the dunk by Jordan. Reversed at home. That was pretty. Agreed. The agility on display. Suns trail by five. And the Suns call time. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. There's the double team with Pippen. Got a piece of it. And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. Yeah, tremendous hustle just to get a hand on that one. Reads the play. Quick reaction. Almost comes up with that steal. A 
Barkley against Grant. Five on the clock. 13 feet away. And the Suns miss again. The Bulls leading by five. Armstrong dishes to Pippen. Barkley against Grant. The pass to Jordan. Shot from the wing. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Fast break. Here they come. Pass to Mark. Purdue with the rebound. The Bulls have gone two of five in the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. It's Pippen with the drive. Grant. Count the basket. Grant's got the lead up to seven now for the Bulls. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Johnson against Armstrong. Johnson kicks it to West. And the dunk by West. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Armstrong passes to Jordan. Over Marley. The feed to Pippen. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. Well, not the best look they can get, but at the end of the day, it's all about shot making. Johnson kicks it to West. Johnson the screen. Here's Barkley. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Boy, he reads the defense well. Makes a nice adjustment. Very dependable. Got it! Yes, indeed. to this place explode. And so it's the Chicago Bulls holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. The 2K Sports Halftime Hello, Show. Hello, folks. Welcome back. Ernie Johnson here with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. This is the Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Chicago holding the upper hand after the first two quarters. They have a solid eight-point lead. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Chicago? Well, the offense is running on all cylinders. Guys are focused, executing, not playing outside of themselves. That's why their shooting percentage was so high. See it up there already in the stratosphere? Anyway, they're mixing things up, which keeps the defense scrambling. And, Kenny, what are your thoughts on Phoenix? Well, they're facing a team that shot very well in the first half. Now, that being said, they probably weren't aggressive enough on the defensive end. That was the difference. And that is just about going to wrap it up as the second half is moments away. Down to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the crew. the second half about to start here in just a few moments. Smitty still the most electrifying play in the game, the slam dunk for your money, who are the more phenomenal dunkers right now in the league. Zach Levine is at top of my <laughs> list. High flyer, you're right. LeBron James, Aaron Gordon, uh, those guys. Anthony Takumbo. Yes. I mean, you talk about guys that are trying stuff that guys don't try in games. Those guys, Russell Westbrook, uh, love to see more of these guys in the dunk contest. But Zach Levine right now is at the top of my list. He is. Setting the floor for the Suns. Sabalos is out there with Barkley. Then it's Marley. Then it's Johnson. And it's West in at the center position. And it's Barkley missing. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous. And that's got to change. And Tucker kicks to Williams. Back to Tucker. Purdue the pass to Paxson. Down to five on the shot clock. Hangs home the trifecta. And the Bulls lead by 13. And there's where if you get some room, you kind of have to take that shot to keep the defense honest. Johnson outside. Williams 
Rogers with the block. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. Knocked away. And even three on three break. Sabalos kicks to Barkley. Now Williams. Here's Tucker. Passes it to McCray. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. When you defend a good mid-range shooter, this is how you contest without fouling. West kicks to Barkley. He feeds it to Marley. 151 left in the third quarter. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. And the Suns here with a different look. Chambers is checked in for West. Dumars comes in for Sabalos. Danny Ainge is checked in for Marley. And it's Johnson in for Johnson. Pass to McCray. And the bucket there by the 6'7 small forward, Rodney McCray. Up by a bunch. He's still pushing the action, trying to impose his will. Time out, time With out. this big of a deficit in the score, you think the losing Start. team would be playing harder. Nope, the opposite. And the Suns call time. And as of late, they have not looked good at all. Actually, they've been dominating. And the worst part, they're starting to get down on themselves. Really need that one big play to spark some light back into them. So Chicago ends up going with the new group. Johnson dishes to Barkley. Up and in from the low block. Here's Armstrong. Six points for him. It's Pippen on the way. Covered by Dumont. And Barkley sends it back. Pippen against Dumars. Over Pippen. No good. Shot missing. The Bulls leading by 13. Here's Armstrong. Misses the three. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. The shot's good from Ainge. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Armstrong kicks to Pippen. Jordan inside. Ainge covering. And the Bulls with another miss. This shot's just, it's not there right now. With this team leading, perhaps, you know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. There's 14 seconds left in the third. Shot clock at six. Chambers with a screen on Grant. From deep. But they'll get another chance. It'll count. Got it off in time, but it's no good. And so it's Chicago. Holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. They've been playing some ferocious defense. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And we're rolling here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down to the wire, but you never know. Suns trail by 11. Grant is out there with Pippen. Then it's B.J. Armstrong. Then it's Cartwright. And it's Jordan in at the shooting guard position. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Screen by Barkley. Ains the pass to Barkley. And here's the fast break. Jordan leading the way. And it's Jordan with the jam. And that's the classic one-two punch right there. I mean, nice steal. And then how about the elevation, Kevin, on the finish? And, Greg, nothing spurs some quick offense like a great play defensively. When your defense translates into offense, it's a beautiful thing. Another miss by Ainge. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Armstrong kicks to Pippen. Jordan against Ainge. Goes up to the strike. Jordan can't get it to go. Suns trail by 13. Kicks it to Ainge. Takes the three. Another miss by Ainge. 
Still no rhythm. This may be a time when you want to make the extra pass. Give someone else a chance. Barkley goes in. All on the play. Basket counts, so it'll be a three-point play chance. As solid as he's Shooting been, one. they're still behind. He needs help. And the Suns here with a different look. West is checked in for Chambers. Hollows comes in for Dumas. Marley's checked in for Ainge. And it's Johnson in for Johnson. And here's Armstrong. He kicks it to Jordan. Six to shoot. And another make to his scoring count. His fifth basket of the game. Now shooting five of 11. So often in the NBA, we see Smitty, a new backcourt tandem, who takes some time to get used to each other and how they play. And they like to catch it. They like to shoot it. And as a former guard, just how difficult is that chemistry to gather in to, to get that backcourt mate that you trust and know so much about it is difficult and then when you find that guy that you vibe with I think the guy for me starting off was Mookie Blaylock getting a chance to have him be my point guard we just knew each other you have signals kind of where you just to each other and you understand eye contact and that's when the chemistry is built and then when one of you guys are traded to another team finding that chemistry again is totally hard the two guys I had the best chemistry with Ryan Shaw and Mookie Blaylock. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, guys, over that last break, I listened to Mike D'Antoni talk to his team. He told them not to hold back. He said, I want 100% effort out there. If you can't give it, I'll get you out. No time to rest. Let's get after it. Kevin, he needs everything we've got. Offensive rebound. Grant the pass to Kirk. All right, with a screen on Marley. Down low. Misses. That's one of his shots in his arsenal, but it was terrific rim protection. Johnson dishes to Mark over Jordan. Misses off the left eye. He's a little uncomfortable in that in-between area, and the defense plays him that way. On the pass to Batson. Outside Pippen. 114 left here in the fourth quarter. Jordan collects the two-pointer near the hoop. Jordan's got six in the quarter. And there's no doubt about this one. Playing with a lot of confidence tonight. It's a statement victory for the Bulls. Tonight, they did a great job of getting everyone involved. They had the good passing and that led to some open shots. Solid play, definitely, Kevin. And just staying aggressive, continuing to extend that lead. They left nothing to chance. This is how you close out. A three from Marley. They get it again. West. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Fantastic positioning on that offensive board. Then right back up. Pippen, the pass to Park. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. And here's Jordan outside. He watches it go through the hoop for his eighth make. Now eight for 14. And this is the kind of deficit it would take a miracle to overcome. I think this hometown crowd agrees with you. They are fired up about it. Up again. Loose ball. Go the other way. Chicago calls timeout. 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 They're in front by 17. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. What do you think, guys? Now, you know, I I'm not sure why you call a timeout this late. I mean, the game is more or less over. I'm not questioning that either, but he clearly hasn't given up on this one quite yet. A chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, Michael Jordan. He's got to be thrilled with how well he shot the ball, Kevin. Good on almost 60% of his shots. That's what I call an efficient performance. And a team loves having someone that dependable they can rely on. He sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. This kind of performance only cements his status as a fan favorite. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's McCray, covered by Dumont. Here's Paxson, offline with his three. Here's Chambers. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. 
It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control operating flawlessly. And the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go. And once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long.